Leg lock happens usually because the guy is standing and you leave your legs too much right there, he's gonna go for it. For sure. Anytime you leave your legs up around his waist like that, he's gonna go for it. So stand up for a second. So to avoid leg locks right away, I like to put my heels almost like this. Like, like I'm about to grab his waist. So like right there, he has a hard time even trying to get a leg lock, you know. But let's say he gets it and he goes for it. Two, two ways that he can leg lock me is by isolating the leg right here like he's doing right now or pushing this leg away to make me more uncomfortable. You see, you guys can come closer, guys. So one of the things that I always uh, tell people is right away, do not fight leg lock with the leg lock. Because um, if you start fighting the leg lock with the leg lock, I'm gonna tap first. He probably has a better grip and he knows what, you know what I mean? So the first thing that you wanna do is get a, a grip of him like this, try to go back for the leg lock. You get a grip like that, I just reach right there. The next thing that you wanna do, if he's got this one, is to try to, to, to go over. I like to go over the leg. It actually doesn't even matter if you go under. I can rip it under or over. I like going over, okay? The next thing I like to do is I switch my grip right here. And he's probably <coughs> going for the leg lag like crazy. With my other hand, I go for the tip of the elbow. And I try to get my leg out there. You see? Now I try to do the leg lag. Never gonna happen. Now watch how I do with my foot. I put, I'm gonna try to put my foot like this behind his back and I'm gonna go over my knee. And he's not gonna like that in his biceps. Nope. It's almost like a bicep crash. And I never let go of the grip. If you let go of the grip, he's gonna get behind and he's gonna get me in the, in the single leg. You see? Awesome. So what I do is, I always keep the grips. Bah! The first one. I'm too far. Try to jump over. Uh, try to get right here, it doesn't matter. I switch my grip, bah, put my boot on. Now, to, to, to get to the mound, you gotta lean on your knee right here. Like you're putting him on a, uh, a lot of pain on his bicep. And from there, you just keep going to mount. If you get here, and you can squeeze the leg out. And because you have that grip, he cannot go under you. If you let go of the grip, he's gonna squeeze under. So let's do it again, watch this. He gets, uh, let's pretend that he's stretching you out. This is a lot easier, so grip <coughs> to, to be safe. If I start going for leg locks, he's gonna leg lock me. So I, I, I make a grip and right away I switch and I start going right here. Even if he's fighting, I, I don't fight leg lock. I stay right here for a long time. He's going crazy, I don't care, he's not gonna do it. I mean, I want to put my knee on the ground and I try to go over and I peel this leg down. So I get two points and I get four for the mouth and I don't get leg lock. <laughs> <laughs> now watch, quick, quick guys. If he's no gi and he's going for the same thing, reach for the neck. Which hand, whatever <laughs> hand you can get there first. I, I, that's the one that I got there first. But this hand, I'm gonna use it to get my, the, his elbow, so I gotta <coughs> switch and make sure that I'm not in trouble. By just holding him by the neck with this hand, or with this hand, he cannot ankle like He has to go back. If you watch Gary Turner now, every time he's fighting, he's always going for the guys right here. He knows that if he, if he holds the neck, nobody can leg like you. And then from here, same thing. I jump to the side of my knee, I go over, and I stretch the leg out. You guys wanna try, uh, try that a little bit? Yes, Let's do that, please. Nope.